Hey everyone, it's Morgan Yates. Over the past few months of quarantine, I really enjoyed recreating things at home that could no longer be done out in the real world. I recently showed you how I threw a fake Coachella in my living room, and today I'm taking you behind the scenes of how I brought my favorite international vacations to life here in Los Angeles, since real travel obviously has not been an option. Today we're headed to Greece, Italy, and Spain, so let's get started. I am so excited about today's video. If you're not following me on Instagram, then you've been missing out on so much over the past couple of months. And I'll start at week one when we were gonna have a taco night, and I decided to decorate a little bit, make it a little like tropical vacation theme we pretended that we were in Cabo. It's just been a lot of fun. We may do more, we'll see. Let me know where else you think we should go in the comments below. But before we get into this video, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Artifact Uprising. I've talked about them so many times. They're my favorite premium photo goods company. They're my favorite customizable little desk calendar is from that makes a great gift. But today I wanna show you their new signature lay flat album. She is hefty. I've been meaning for so long to create an album of all my travels over the past few years, but I feel like I've just been going trip to trip for so long and A, haven't had the time, but also just like haven't known like, all right, well, should I just do it annually or like whatever. But since we're quarantine and travel who knows where that's gonna go after this I thought we'd create a full pre quarantine travel album so this we have all my travels from 2017 to 2020 you can customize the binding here and then we just have a little pick on the front there are a lot of fabric color options to choose from this is really high quality fabric and you can customize your foil stamped uh, wording on the front and what I love about this this is their new highest quality album available is that it lays completely flat so when you're building it out you can actually put like faces and photos and everything right down the middle so I just went through starting with my first trip ever out of the country which was to Greece and I went through all of my old travel photos this is Finland and just kind of told the story of all of the places I've been so we have Stockholm Copenhagen Lisbon we have Toledo Spain back to Greece a second time Paris what a fashion just like that was just a good a good trip for the for the wardrobe and for the gram we have the Dead Sea here's Petra one of the seven wonders of the world in Jordan we got the beach in Nice London we have Croatia and Bosnia look at this there's like a slight shine to the paper and there are a bunch of layouts to choose from on the website so depending on how many photos you want to use here we have the Dominican Republic these are super easy to make on the website you can just go in pick different layouts for different pages you can type in text on them if you want to I just opted not to but this has been so nice to have I almost teared up when I got this in the mail just going through all this thinking about how many amazing travel memories I have and how many places I've been able to go so I think it's just really special to have such a nice way to preserve all of these like this will be in every home I ever have forever now so if you want to make your own signature lay flat album I'm gonna have this linked below if you need to make a wedding book or just a family photo album this is a wonderful option and again it makes a great gift as well thank you again to them for sponsoring this video if you want to save 15% on anything on the website my discount code is on screen it's good for the next two weeks if you want to order this or calendar or any kind of gift or just photo prints or anything artifact uprising is just a really awesome company of wonderful people based out of Colorado and they source the best materials and just are a a wonderful ethical company that I cannot recommend enough so now let's finally hop into our travels from home kicking things off with Greece We are going to Greece, which is my potentially my favorite country. Adrian and I have actually been to Greece together before, and so I was kind of trying to think of what countries would be good to recreate at home. It all comes back to just like categories of food, really, that we can either make here or postmate. So there are a lot of good Greek places around here. Just a couple things I've been doing. I ordered some stuff from Amazon. I have a cool like little Greece backdrop that I'm gonna put on the wall, so it looks like we're in Santorini. I actually made a little invitation and texted it to her a couple days ago, and she RSVP'd, so um, she should be there. I hope this turns out cool. Like I have got plans life like we're gonna try to really make it look like Greece which is a couple things I did on the computer first food wise I looked at the menu for the place I think we're gonna order from and I like typed out kind of a fake menu I just thought it was a cute gesture I don't know I just printed out a bunch of Greek flags cut them out and then I'm gonna I guess locate some string and string these on it's gonna be a fun little Greek evening here in a few minutes I'm getting so excited this measly little dining room is gonna be decorated to look like Santorini. I have all of my supplies in this box. It doesn't look like much. Something I did last week was move the TV over here and move all of our coffee stuff out and that way you can play like a little scenic Greece video as well. I brought my Amazon Echo down from my room and I have a Greek music playlist pulled up. I've yet to uh, finish DIYing that craft. Oops. Here is our Santorini tapestry. And then Greece. There are all these really pretty like pink flowers and so much greenery that I don't really see any other place. So I bought some little flowers to recreate that. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know what I'm gonna hang this stuff with. This is going up a lot, um, fell out, but I think it kind of adds to the effect. I'm gonna take out this palm plant, but over here we have this little photo grid, and there are actually already some pictures of us from Greece up here, but I brought some more, and I'm gonna swap those out. That's another one in Greece. We're in Athens. So I'm gonna put these on, that way it's just like a little Greece memory board. 
Okay, don't look and don't trip this time. Oh my All god, right, I wait. Die already! Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh. Three, three. <laughs> oh, we didn't try this wine yet. Should we try? Wait, hold on, Alexa. Pause. You never know these days. I don't know what the Greek music copyright's like. Oh, All right. No, I don't want any skills. Unless it's Greek, I don't want Wine tasting in Greece? Yeah! Not as bad as expected. Great. This reminds me of Greece. It really does. Oh my god! I, that was our first trip together was to Greece, and we had this restaurant in Crete that we went to every night we were in yeah. Crete, and we got like multiple bottles, one bottle or multiple? We definitely got one. We I don't know. They had this more. bomb white wine, so when I yeah. thought about Greece, I thought it had to be white no, wine. No, this reminds me, except I can envision that we're like on the coast. <laughs> and that cat that wouldn't leave me alone. Yes. Aww. Good times. Great times. Mm. Mm. All right, so overview of what we did because I was quite rushed and we got to watch the sunset a little bit The little DIY garland worked out, but we come in also Adrian wore this dress when we were in Greece So that's just cute. I put the little flowers underneath that I just put on a little like scenic loop type thing Then we have our little Santorini tapestry that again may or may not stay up when I'm in Europe I also always like sparkling water. So I thought I'd pick up one of that. That's the Greece vibe. Our food is here Oh, Ruby! This is so cute! This is so cute. <laughs> Dessert, dessert, dessert time. Hello, today we are going to Italy. I just sent Adrian an invite. I've been making all these invitations on paperless post. So tonight I said we're having pizza in Pisa or maybe pasta, I'm not really sure. And the reason it's taking place in Pisa of all places is because she hasn't seen this book. This is why it's in Pisa. I need to decorate. I'm thinking what we're gonna do. A, I need to go get my like greenery that I used for Greece and stuff. Cause I think I'm just gonna make this look kind of like Italian, not vineyardy, but just like outdoor dinner type vibes. Maybe I'll get some string out here and see what I can like string across the ceiling. We're also gonna be having a little wine tasting. We went on like wine.com or something like that and bought an Italian wine set. So these are actually all from different places in Italy. So we thought that would be fun to recreate kind of like a little vineyard wine tasting. I also have stuff to make Aperol spritzes, which is my favorite drink that I always drink when I'm in Italy. So we're gonna make those probably as like a little welcome drink as we've been doing from time to time. Once again, got the flag, gonna go print this. We're gonna put it on a string, tie it there as a little banner. I have a couple tablecloth options that I don't know if I'll use either of. I got these look like restaurant -y. Maybe cute, or maybe really not. <laughs> Also, don't get too excited because it's underwhelming compared to Greece. <laughs> I don't even have my passport. <laughs> oh no, I don't either. Keep walking. Oh, I have vertigo. Oh my god! He's not this cool! <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? This is not underwhelming. You're in we Pisa! Are I haven't made <laughs> Oh, I haven't made the welcome drink. It's a apparently a do-it-yourself drink. <laughs> Aperol spritzes and we're suffering a minor setback, but nothing we won't get past. <laughs> Would it be a Morgan Adrian fake vacation without some setbacks though? No. Terrible paper towel work. It's like a white line. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole roll just for this ounce of Prosecco that was spilled. Good job. It's everywhere. I'm just filming you clean so that I don't have to clean. Just like <gasps> had the best time. Morgan. <laughs> I'm just trying to measure this. I probably could have winged it. Wang it. <laughs> You're just pouring it fast. You can't pour fast. I just want the drink now. When it's bubbly, you gotta be careful. Glug, glug, glug. Ah. <gasps> oh. oh, I taste it already. 
food has arrived. We did not cook. So we've got our spritzes. I got carbonara, this is what I always eat in Italy. And I got a little burrata, beet, arugula salad type thing. I got a uh, bolognese and just a, a simple mixed green salad. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I feel like the emoji girl. <laughs> Wait, what do I do? The little dancer. Adrian actually studied abroad in Spain. Mm -hmm. Where again? Madrid. Madrid. She's the expert here today. And also we're gonna be cooking for us. So today we're gonna attempt to cook, um, well, we're, we're just making some light tapas. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make sangria. And I'm so excited. we're gonna make paella, which is a Spanish dish, if you haven't had it, that I really love. So um, have we decorated it all, you ask? We have not. There aren't really like ways to recreate what Spain looks like. Yeah, we're gonna go for an outdoor patio vibe. Yeah, we're also not following the Spaniards and eating at 10 p.m. because we're hungry oh, now, yeah. but. <laughs> I forgot they do that. Better outfit view. Also, we redid our um, dining room, if it looks a little different than the other clips. I have a room makeover video up, you can go check it out. First up, since we've been doing the little flag banners, we're just gonna cut this out. Collar. <laughs> yeah, it's because you were taking pictures, it always is. Adrian, there's this theory that anytime you take a photo, you just start sweating profusely. Yeah, it's I think literally what is it? It's what? like the pressure of knowing you have to look good. And secondarily, watch my hair's not gonna be curly anymore. Yeah. Every time I take a photo, it just comes straight. <laughs> I don't know how. Should I test the theory and take a picture of myself? Yeah, let's see if you start sweating. Okay. Now I feel like I have like anticipatory sweat. <laughs> Also just say like forget about it, but here's what we'll do. I have an idea. Okay. We're gonna push this table a little farther this way. We're gonna make the bar cart be like a tapas <gasps> cart. Oh cart that goes around. So when you're sitting all Wait, also we can <laughs> Oh, you'll wheel it to me? That's so nice. Should we move this in there? Wow, we are really flopping on this last one, so thank god we're cooking. <laughs> we're getting into the theatrics of a tapas cart. Yeah. Should we take this and put it like yeah. somewhere that's visible then? Yeah, yes. Since it's all all we have. We're starting our cooking. The sun is setting. We got some sangria supplies. I got some actual Spanish uh, wine. Apparently this is the preferred kind. And we're gonna put on some Spanish music that we would get copyrighted for. So <laughs> let's begin. Okay, packed with fruit. Is she ready to go? Cheers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa, well, yeah. yummy alert. Adrian's getting the gram. I'm gonna assemble some cheese and stuff. Look at our tapas. Why don't, I thank goodness, all right, not, not thank goodness for quarantine, but we would have never gotten creative. We never cook, we never do anything. And like, we've gotten so just like, Fun at home. I want to keep doing this. All right, we're already deep into it, but I forgot we I got little aprons, but we don't have to wear them. Yeah, Call me Chef Boyard Daydream. Are you kidding? This is awesome. I look like the ghost of Christmas past in my red and green. And there's hats too if we want oh, for the lulls. Yeah, we're doing it. Love her fist. Oh, roommate. Oh, roommate. Oh, roommate. I love you. You're that. crazy. <laughs> All right, whipping up paella, starting with veggies. We're gonna have some shrimp. And this is what we're working with. Mm. Dinner is served, and she looks so good. This is like some of our best work, food wise. Forget the decor. We made all of this. Signing off from Spain. Woo! Adios. <laughs> so that is it for this video. Again, maybe we'll go some more places. We kicked it off so big with Greece, and that was just hard to top. <laughs> So let me know what you thought in the comments and thank you guys again so much for tuning in to all of these over on Instagram. It's been so fun for me and Adrian to be able to do this from home, but also I feel like every time we've done these, it's just been such an exciting time of interacting with you guys and like getting so many messages, so many more than usual. And it means a lot that you guys have loved tagging along as well and hope that it's kept you a little bit entertained. So thank you for watching. Hope all of you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.